Hello class. Um, welcome to day one of our English 101 course. Um, my name is Pega Matalib and I'm going to be your instructor for this online class. Um, I checked in this morning and many of you have already started on some of the assignments and I've gotten a few of your emails so thank you for getting started early. I am teaching two sections of English 101, so um, and the sections are both online, the assignments are the same, and uh, the activities will be the same as well. Um, so with that said, let me just begin by going over the syllabus and the essay one assignment sheet in this video, and then I'm going to have other videos throughout the semester. Um, I do want to begin by saying that this is an eight-week summer video. So that means that we're taking 16 weeks worth of a regular semester work and combining it into uh, eight weeks. So the pace is going to be fast. The assignments cannot be shortened anymore, as I've already have. Um, it is a reading and writing assignment. Um, typically, if you were taking this class face-to-face, -face, you would be attending uh, MESA, uh, Monday through Thursday, at least two hours per day. So we try to kind of make things convenient for you guys and have things be online, but at the same time, the rigor of the class cannot change because it's an online class. And I know that many of you are not new to the online system. You guys probably have taken many online classes, so um, I'm sure you know exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm going to go over the syllabus and the um, essay one assignment sheet because I know that there's some frequently, you know, commonly asked questions that student, students have, and I want to uh, be able to address them. And then if you have any other questions, you can email me or uh, post under the discussion forum as well. So um, again, my name is Pega Matalib. This is my email address, and this is my office phone number. You can call Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Um, if I don't pick up, leave a voicemail. I'll call you back. Um, and uh, if you want to do this face-to-face -face, uh, meeting, I can meet with you via Zoom online and we can chat, or I can meet you in person at Mesa College. So again, just kind of coordinate that with me and uh, we'll make sure that we meet in person. So some of the materials that you will need in this class include computer with internet access. I know that sometimes, you know, our internets go in and out, um, but the library has access to free computers and free internet, and so does the public library. So um, lack of internet should be, should not be, you know, uh, an excuse for, uh, you know, not being able to do the assignments. You'll also need Microsoft Word or a Google Doc because you have to type all of your assignments and submit them electronically. Um, so if you don't know uh, how to use Google Doc. It's an amazing feature. Most of you do, so I'm not going to take time going over it right now, but if you don't know, email me and I'll give you a tutorial about Google Doc. But um, I can't open attachments in the Mac uh, pages. Uh, I can only do Microsoft Word or Google Doc. You'll be also um, watching a lot of videos from me. You'll also be making some of your own videos, especially our last presentation as a group presentation, so you'll need video cam and audio capabilities to listen to YouTube videos and microphone to record your voice. Um, I also recommend that you make a YouTube account because um, you'll be, like I said, you'll be um, doing a lot of your own um, videos that you will be um, uploading as a part of your activities and your assignments. Um, we are going to read a ton of stuff. Um, uh, all of the reading material I have for free and I will be uploading them into our course um, under the weekly tabs. But there are two videos that um, I would like for you to either purchase on YouTube um, or you can check them out free from the Mesa Library. They will be under my course reserve. So if you go and say I'm a student in Pega's class and if you tell them the course number, the CRN, They'll be able to let you check the DVD out uh, for two hours or maybe longer, maybe three hours. Uh, you just can't take them home, but you can sit there at the library. There are DVDs, there are headphones. Uh, you can watch them on your uh, laptops if you wanted to, if your laptops uh, uh, allow DVD players. But if they don't, don't worry. The library has television and DVD players and headphones. So these are the two movies that we'll be watching um, throughout the class and they'll connect to some of our readings. Uh, these are the prerequisites before enrolling into this class, so that means that you have to have completed English 49, 
um, and 48 or 47A or any of these courses before being able to enroll in this class. But I think most of you are fine because you were allowed to enroll in this class. So as I've mentioned in the syllabus, I want this class to be more than just a grade for you. It is a requirement for all MESA students to take English 101 um, and pass it with the C. Um, I really think that it's going to be a class where you'll be inspired um, and you'll probably, you know, really engage deeply with the reading uh, and the communication that we're going to have. We're going to analyze, evaluate, and synthesize multiple sources about a variety of different topics. Um, so I, I hope that you walk away um, learning not only just, you know, reading and writing skills, but, you know, just kind of like fine tuning and developing your critical thinking skills to be able to shape opinions and thoughts and ideas about a variety of different topics uh, beyond, you know, the obvious, I think is really what the point of this class is. Um, so let me show you an example of what I mean by that, okay? This is what, for me, this is what critical thinking is. Critical thinking for me is when you are exposed to ideas that you had never considered. And we get exposed to ideas we had never considered by sharing, by giving each other one another's opinions. Um, I've been, you know, reading a lot of student papers about the topic of um, police injustice and police brutality and uh, police violence. And, um, you know, I ran across a really interesting quote the other day. And this quote I had never thought about. So I want to share the quote with you. Um, so let me just kind of pull it up on my, my Google Drive here. Hopefully it'll work. Um, whenever I, whenever I find, you know, an interesting thought or idea or a quote that really, you know, stands out to me, I, I make, I make sure that I save it in my, in my Google Drive. Um, so let me pull it up here. Bear with me. There we go. I organize uh, everything in, you know, folders so that they're easily accessible. So I hope that you, you know, at some point create some sort of uh, system in which you organize your material as well in different folders. So the quote is, um, we live in a world where trained cops can panic and act on impulse, but untrained civilians must remain calm with a gun in their face. You know, and I never really thought about that. I never really thought of making an argument or forming an opinion in this manner. So when I saw this visual, um, actually one of my students sent it to me, it helped me um, and my perspective about police injustice um, grow just a little bit more. So what I hope this class is, is the same for you, that through the readings, through the writings, through, you know, the videos that we watch, through the conversations that we have, that you are able to grow in your thinking and consider the perspectives of other people. So um, as I've written in the syllabus in this class, we're going to read about the education system. Um, we're going to read about different mindsets that people have. We're going to read about um, things related to issues of race, issues of uh, privilege. We're going to try to analyze some hip hop uh, lyrics and music because I know it's a popular genre. Um, and we're also going to talk about issues related to gender issues. Okay. Um, so as I've mentioned in the syllabus, the things that we'll do in this class will draw focus for writing essays from readings and texts that propel us to look within ourselves as individuals who are critical thinkers. Um, we'll use a bunch of different websites um, that I'll go over in my videos, and uh, we'll make appropriate decisions about argument structure and rhetorical conven uh, conventions. We'll learn to question, explore, and explain, and analyze, and develop, and critique ideas. And then we'll talk a lot about literary analysis in your writing. Um, so your essays that you write in this class are going to be reflections of writing projects that have depth and complexity. Um, I'm, I'm the kind of teacher who cares about quality rather than quantity. Um, you will come to see that the writing expectation 
that I have of my students is very high, um, but I give you a lot of support. So I give you a lot of guidance. I, get a, I give you a lot of t tools and tips. Um, you'll come to see that the text that you read in this class and the essays you write are related to issues, the social constructs of power relations centered towards race, gender, nationality, class, disability, and sexuality. So it's going to be an interesting summer, all right? That's why I have this funny quote um, uh, in that, you know, even though it's summer school, the rigor still has to be high. So I'll support you. I'll work with you. I'll be as flexible as I possibly can be. Um, but I do need you to make some commitments as well. Um, so in this class, we're going to participate in active reading uh, activities. We are going to conduct, uh, you know, research using the library system. We are going to participate in writing workshops with your peers, even though it's online. Yes, you guys will, uh, you know, interact with each other. Uh, I'm going to talk a lot about online tutoring and how you can seek support for your writing. You're going to do a collaborative assignment with your peers, and you're just going to really work on learning to write meaningful text. Um, so these are the student learning outcomes for the class. I'll let you read those on your own. But basically, um, like I mentioned, we're going to develop critical thinking, creative ways of thinking, creative ways of looking at things. We're going to focus on rhetorical analysis, and also we're going to learn about the world. We're going to learn about people from all different parts of the world, all different parts of uh, different experiences, right, so that we can, you know, become more educated than we already are. This is your grade breakdown. So essay one and two are worth 25% of your overall grade. Um, you know, quizzes are worth 10% of your overall grade. Group presentation, 25%, and then your participation is worth 15%. This is my policy about late work and attendance. Um, late work, I will accept one late essay. Um, you have seven days to turn in a late essay. Any more days than that, I cannot accept it because we're moving so fast. So I need to be able to, you know, grade, um, update, uh, and, and, you know, move forward with the next assignment. So um, if you look at the assignment sheet that I'll go over in just a moment, you'll see that everything is set up so that you do a little bit each day and if you just do a little bit each day you'll be able to do the essays perfectly fine um, attendance is really important try to log in at least once a day if not once every other day but you know um, being that it's the first day of class it may not be a bad idea for you to go to the uh, you know assignment due dates right here on page um, six of the syllabus look at every single due date that we have start plugging them into your cell phone so that you don't miss any due dates. Um, okay, let's move on down to uh, extra credit. I know you guys will probably ask at some point, can I have extra credit? Um, maybe you may miss a quiz or maybe you want to earn some extra points. The answer is yes. On page four of the syllabus, I've gone over my extra credit policy. You can earn three points for uh, each of the five assignments. So for example, let's say in essay one, you earned an 87%. You earned a B plus and you want that to be an A. So you can do an extra credit point, and I just give you three points towards that assignment, and it'll turn to a 90% automatic uh, A-. minus. Um, so there's three ways you can earn extra credit. You can attend a community-wide community -wide event that was a unique learning moment for you, make a three to five minute video, uh, and then post it, email it to me, and uh, I'll share it with the class, and uh, that gives you three points. Uh, you can watch a film. I think films are really good, important learning moments. Create a many, many presentation in which you summarize the film, explain what you learned from watching it, and show either a trailer or a scene from the film. You can use Screenomatic or a PowerPoint video that's closed caption, and you can email me the link. Um, more information about Screenomatic, uh, you can go to this link here. Um, if you come to my office at Mesa in G331, I have a basket. And uh, in this basket, I have plenty of uh, articles. Let me just kind of walk over to the basket and show you what it looks like. And it's kind of awkward, but sometimes visuals help. So if you go to um, my office, so here is D331, and this is where the basket is. So if you, let me see, make sure you guys see the basket. There it is. Yeah, um, if you come here and uh, take one of these articles from the basket, we'll 
read the article. Um, 